What is up? What is going on? Hope you are having a fantastic day, and thank you so much for stopping by Yellowed Yams of Cramped Old Clams. It is your host, Galadon, and it is another episode of No Cash Clash. 191 installments, and here we are. We've gotten here together, and yes, I am continuing to use baby dragons. But, but as we get into today's episode, we will soak up all that is free from Clash of Clans. We are free to play, and we are going to make sure we do the best we possibly can to, well, first of all, just enjoy the game, right? That's the primary purpose of playing, but also we would like to try to stay ahead of Gold Pass Clash that is definitely getting closer in our rear view mirror. But we should not be looking behind us, we should be looking forward and the things that are coming up. For instance, in the next seven days, are you planning to make a purchase in Clash of Clans? If so, then now would be a great time to enter code Galadon under settings, more settings and scrolling all the way to the bottom. Even if you don't wanna do it, maybe do it as a thank you for the creative segues that we keep on coming up with in every episode. Okay, let's move on and talk about what is going on in the home village. And this is the first time ever, ever in the history of this account that I have spent gems to boost army production. Now it usually actually, okay, not, not, not gemming the queen to wake her back up, but it usually is a good idea to do this. This is actually one of the better ways to spend gems. If you're a free to play player. And of course you run out of training potions. You could also buy them for league medals. I'm just not a big fan. Those league medals are so hard to earn, right? They're definitely hard to come by and using a bunch of them on a training potion just doesn't feel right. So we're going to avoid that. We're going to save those league medals for the hammers. And uh, that's pretty much the only thing we will save league medals for. Okay, guess what? Another baby dragon. Okay, who am I kidding, right? I told you that we would be done with it and I wasn't going to show anymore or do anymore. Well, both of those things just didn't work out. Th that was the plan. And like I said, it wasn't a lie. It was a change in plans because we found ourselves low on Dark Elixir and there's really no other more efficient army. We're all about efficiency over here at No Cash Clash, trying to get the job done as best as possible. This is a rare three star from the sneaky, the sneaky. See, that's how used to using the goblins I am. Sneaky goblins. Yeah, a rare three star from the baby dragons. Of course, neither one of those raids, Sneaky Goblins or Baby Dragons, are really consistently a three-star strategy, but when it comes down to it, check it out. That is over two million in loot, but wait, there's more. That's right, today's episode will bring the largest raid I've ever had on any of my lower level accounts. It is going to be insane, it is going to be crazy, but okay, let's, let's stick with the current screen, and that is the profile because we have been saving up our gems in our little piggy bank. I mean, do you have a piggy bank? I'm just curious. If you do, doesn't it feel better to let it save up a bunch of money before you break it open and spend it somewhere? That's what we're doing here by picking up the big gem achievements like well-seasoned 250 gems, sharing is caring, uh, War League legend. I mean, I was actually surprised by how many, that's what, 370 right there. That's 390 gems so far. Uh, 490 gems, the next level of that, not so easy this time. I mean, this feels good. This is amazing, right? And then I think there's one more. Yes, builder base right here. So 540 free gems. We are most certainly going to put those to use by boosting more armies. And sure enough, when you come back, you'll notice that I'm lower on gems than I just was 10 seconds ago. So, all right, we've got uh, no builders free. So what am I doing over here? I'm counting walls and getting ready to just, we're just kind of, you know, we're inventorying the base. We're looking at what is happening next. The Archer Queen, she is up. The King and the Warden are down, but they're both going to get another level today. Now, I also told you guys that we're trying not to focus on wall and hero upgrades, right? Well, you know, sometimes it's easier said than done simply because when you have too much Dark Elixir, you need to spend it somewhere, right? And that's exactly what we're gonna to have to do right here. So the Warden and the Barbarian King both finish and the lab is done. Now the lab is always a key. We gotta get that going all of the time. And speaking of the Barbarian King, let's upgrade his little friends, the Barbarians that pop out when he uses his ability, try to get them up to max level for Town Hall 11. So we spent the Elixir, but the problem is we have a glut of Dark Elixir. And necessarily that means one of the heroes needs an upgrade just so that that doesn't overflow. 
Worst feeling ever, having too much Dark Elixir. Too much gold? Okay, so we didn't do walls this time. Check it out, that's right. We did an Inferno Tower going to max, so we depleted our resources, so why don't we go fill them back up with the biggest raid in no cash clash history, and actually probably ever for me at Town Hall 11, and no heroes. So we're looking at over three million in resources in just the gold and the elixir and no heroes so it becomes that issue of can we three star the loot it's only about the loot we don't care about trophies we don't care about the town hall but we will fail if we can't get every last piece of loot out of this base and unfortunately a lot of it is going to be in the storages the storage is in the core there by all of those expos and of course remember the town hall acts as a storage so let's try to get the town hall as well okay we're already about halfway there, over halfway there right now. So now we're just focused on getting deeper and deeper into the base, trying to make sure that we don't overuse the sneaky goblins, right? Just drop a couple at a time. We're not usually worried about running out of time in an attack like this. We're going to run out of sneaky goblins first. So get those out of the way. And then we drop in the log launcher. I do really like the log launcher just because it takes out so many defenses on its way into the core and also can often give you that pathway into the town hall without needing the jump spells, maybe leaving the jump spells for elsewhere around the base. Okay, we see there's a gold storage right there. A couple more go over there. Up top, pretty clear right here. Going to try to get max value out of the bowlers. And then, of course, we save the invisibility spells for the core, a haste spell, an invis, perfectly placed, come on! That was absolutely picture perfect, and we take out the town hall. Now, you'll notice only 75,000 gold remains. That is a good sign because what that means, only the gold storage has the remaining loot. That's right, we did not need to get to the clan castle. Oh, wait a minute. We do need to get to the land castle, but we've got another jump spell. We've got another rage spell, and sure enough, with enough goblins, we get into the middle. We didn't even need them all right there. Let's go. Sneaky goblins. It's a three-star of the loot with a spare invis, a spare freeze, and 15 leftover sneaky goblins. And that, my friends, was not even a dead base. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to say I'm pretty proud of myself. Three million in loot, not a huge amount of dark elixir. But overall, still a record raid for Galadon 3.0 and also way bigger than anything the Gold Pass account has ever seen as well. Okay, level 4 Giga Tesla, almost maxed out for Town Hall 12. And you saw the Battle Machine with another upgrade, so keep an eye out for the quest to the 6th Builder. 3.0 and Gold Pass are racing. They only have actually probably like one more video. And somebody is going to get the Auto, the 6th Builder. And then, of course... That is going to be a huge advantage in the home village race to max. And, phew, man, I don't want to spoil it, but uh, Gold Pass Clash, yeah, best value in the game. Okay, speaking of Gold Passes and not having Gold Passes, this season ends and that's all we get. Gold Pass Clash over there with five times the loot. We get a little bit so we can do a couple more walls. I know I said don't do walls, but otherwise we're going to be full. We got to do some of these walls. We're still less than halfway through them. So it just seemed like the right thing to do. Also, again, notice the issue with the Dark Elixir filling up. We never want that to go over full. So we try to upgrade one hero at a time, or in this case, three heroes at a time. Um, right, okay. I, whatever, I just, you know, it just happens. I'm not even, I'm not trying. It just happens. Okay, so then we go over to the clan game. Speaking of picking up free stuff, from Clash of Clans, lots of amazing items over there, including, you saw that, I did take the Rune of Builder Elixir. So we are going to be that much closer to the level 30 battle machine and the sixth builder in the home village. All right, base looks good. Let's hope I remember to move it back to the regular base before we got attacked and let's move on to the status report and check out how things went today. We uh. lost a few trophies, but that's okay. The villagers knows that these things are going to happen. But remember, we picked up a huge amount of gems. This will pretty much enable us to boost whenever we have the desire or the time. The heroes yeah. all picked up another level today. And the best community in the game is, of course, the Galafam. Yeah. I promise you guys to try to work on some new and exciting attack strategies in future videos. In the meantime, Whoa. thank you for watching all the way to the end of the episode. You are the true hashtag Galafam. That's why I love thinking about it. appreciate every single day, every single day. So get out there, make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind of the final supply. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Epi 
says, I think it's time to give up. <laughs>